Welcome to Hong Kong and Beyond. I'm Shaz. I'm Leon. Today we're looking at The Unwritten Law, which is the first in a series of three films starring Andy Lau. So we've been covering these films in a bit of a mixed order. We started with number two, then we followed it up with number three, and finally we got our hands on part one, which was very difficult to find this DVD, and we have now watched the first part, and we're now ready to review part one, The Unwritten Law. This one was directed by Ng Si Yuen, who most people are familiar with for martial art films, working with Yuen Wu Ping, on films like Snake and Eagle Shadow, Drunken Master, and he also directed Secret Rivals 2 and Tower of Death. So it's not what you'd expect from him, but this 1985 drama, there's quite a lot going for it, I think. So the film starts that Andy Lau's character has just graduated as a lawyer from, um, he's been in London studying for years, and he comes back to Hong Kong, and you sort of see, um, you know, from his background that he was raised at an orphanage and he sort of meets with um, some people, um, sort of lawyer people, and they say, oh, there's this case that nobody will touch because it's unwinnable, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> 以后你就会明白的。老婆,我去跟陈先生打。And the, um, the person that needs defending is a prostitute, you know, so you're not going to make any money out of the case because they've got no money. 另外一个原因是经济问题。被告的身世非常可怜。他的律师费也是他的姐妹们捐出来的。所以给不足。and but Andy is intrigued by this and wants to look into the case files because I think he feels you know everybody deserves a chance at getting defense in a court case. Mm -hmm. So he takes the case on. And it's basically about a prostitute that is accused of murdering the son of a wealthy uh, business person in Hong Kong. Yes, so Andy was like, you can't judge me, I am the law! Oh, that's the wrong film. I am the law! But yeah, he's very much for the law in this film, <laughs> and I really like his, his enthusiasm in the role in this one. Outstanding in this mm -hmm. for 85 mm -hmm. film. This is a really young Andy Lau. Yes. yes. And um, again, Dean Yip, fantastic. I mean, she was about, I think she was 37 when she filmed this, and she's playing a lady in her 50s. Mm. Uh, they make her look a little bit older, you yeah, know, yeah. by graying her hair and whatnot. But you can tell looking at her face that she isn't that old. Mm. And um, yeah, the chemistry between them. I mean, she's, she was known as Ali Lau's mum for a while for playing these three roles and probably why they later did the film Simple Life, you know, because the chemistry between them mm. works, even though the age gap between them isn't that big. But I, I like I like drama in this one. I think this one's really solid. And it's not yeah. what I expected from a film directed by Ng Si Yuen, you know, with the snow come through. It's all solid drama and it is really well done. No, I agree. I really enjoyed it. You know, I think we felt it was a really good story and it was acted really well by everybody in it. We particularly liked the older chap who sort of worked under Andy Lau's character. Yeah. Um, that chap is Lau Su Ming, played Aquan. He was very good. Um, a lot of viewers out there, you might recognise this chap. He was the grandpa that gets killed in Writing Wrongs. And he turns up in so many Hong Kong movies. And yeah, the scenes with him and Andy, though they weren't like bountiful, 
what we had no. was very good. I felt they had a nice rapport, you know, a nice sort mm. of bond between them, which worked really well. Yes, and he was very respectful towards him, even though he's being made his senior. He was like, kind of, you know, oh, give me some guidance. Mm. And, you know, that was reciprocated very well from mm. Lao Tzu Ming's character. So that added an extra layer of depth to, yeah, to the characters, yeah. you know, and made the story that a little bit stronger. I don't think Dini Ip was as much in these films as she was in the other two. Yeah, I was I was going to agree with that actually because I was thinking as we were watching it, I feel like in the other two films she had maybe a harder role to play, whereas here maybe she took a bit more of a back seat and mm -hmm. it was about everything around her yeah. rather than focusing on her as much. Yeah. But what she did do was very, very good. Oh, yes, yes. And the, the son that she she kills in the struggle, mm. he, he takes her off, you know, and um, it's no spoiler that that's the setup for the film. Yeah, yeah, you're showing that very early on, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, very early on. That character is played by category, category three maestro Stuart Ong. And let's just mm. say he lives up to his usual kit character he is an yeah. ass wipe and he has not pleasant what happens to him he has it coming he had it coming to him hog. yeah he's not a very pleasant character and um yeah you a hundred percent feel like she should get off you know mm. and uh i like i like the, the court case in this actually i think it's handled really really well sometimes the a little bit wishy-washy and they try and baffle you with a little bit of bullshit but the angle they took on this the way it was presented you know, I find it quite I find it quite believable yeah and I felt that the judge in this film was fairer than in the later films yeah um and I felt that Paul Chun's character you know the um prosecuting um lawyer that he was being challenged more um than in the other two films Yes, he didn't really see it coming with Andy Lau in this. He thought he'd no. have it his own way. But the, the setup is Andy's doing things very early on in the film, mm. which come to fruition at the end of the yeah, film. Yeah. It all unravels rather nicely. And mm. um, yes, I really, I really liked it. You know, I thought, I thought this was exceptional. Okay, so are you ready to score, Chas, or have I you am. got any extra notes? No? no, I'm ready to score, and I am scoring this one 8.5 out of 10. And I'm also giving it 8.5 out of 10. This was, you know, top draw courtroom drama. So we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you haven't seen our other reviews in this series, please go and watch them, you know? If you enjoyed this one, you probably enjoyed those. Get a whole rounded view of the whole series. See what you think. This might be for you, it might not. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time.